Welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show how you can build um, a table view controller. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, you can build a static or you can build a custom. Today I will show how fast it is to build um, a static. Um, a custom I will show you in, in another movie. So start to creating a single view application. I call my for table view demo. Now go to the main storyboard, find uh, a table view controller here, this, and drag it out. When you have it in drag it out, select your table view, find a button. We love to, uh, to push and go to the table view controller. So Control drag, sorry, control drag your button and go to the table view controller and press show. Now select your single view and go to edit and embed in navigation controller. You will see we have a, a view controller here and we have a navigation, uh, sorry, a table view controller here. You can run it and see what's happened. Press the button and you can see nothing here and we can go back and press again. Now stop the application, um, create a new Swift script, we call it the uh, product source Swift file product. Inside our product we want a structure. Sorry. With name product. We need a name. It's a string. And we need a description. Save. Create a new. This time we need a Cooker Touch class. We call it Product Table View Controller. Now you build a, a bar. It's called Products. It's uh, equal to Product Array. Um, sorry, uh, and we want to build our product array. So self products is equal to product <coughs> name, product name one, description. Our product description number one and copy this line a couple of times two three four five five four three two one yes and we need to remove we don't need this, so remove this, and we need to return how many uh, uh, items we have inside our array. So we need to count our products. This will tell you how many rows we got in our array, and uncomment our cell. For now. We will change this to cell. It means what identifier we will use um, inside our, our table view controller. For now, we will call it for cell. Um, we need to have an object or var inside. It's called product 
and product. We need uh, we need a product is equal to product. I'm trying to hit my key. Sorry. Index path row. This means um, we need to take uh, object products inside of of our product uh, or product bar is equal to the number of row uh, this loop is running. Index pass is row. It's starting by zero, one, two, and up. Okay. So now we need to change the header, text label, and text is equal to product name, and we want to change the details text label to to product description. Okay. We uh, return fill. This is mean you return. Uh, the cell object we have created. Go back to st main starboard, uh, select your table view controller, um, under custom classes, select your product table view controller, one time on prototype cell, you can go to attribute inspector and your identifier called cell. Now it should be work. And yes, it works. So if we go back to our table view controller and add uh, two more products inside, demo product one and demo product two, mini typos box. Uh, and love Swift, and we take a, a run again, and we we probably should have two more inside. And yes, but as you can see, nothing inside here is down under the the demo product. So if we go back to our main starboard and click this and st well um, the basic now we have a prototype sorry not basic uh, subtitle yes we have a title and a subtitle and if you run again and you can see we have changed the style and yes we have changed the style thank you for watching if you uh, love this video you are welcome to like below